Basically the way it works is comedians get a little bit of time. I say seven minutes, because fuck it, that's a good amount of time to work on your stuff. You don't have to use the whole time. Reduce it if you want it. But how about make me this deal? I'll give you seven minutes as long as you don't talk out front of this door like an asshole, interrupting every other comedian. Does that sound good? Let's do that. Let's be, let's be civil to one another. Smoking out front. We got a whole lot of people. We got Nicki Moon filming us, trying to convince us this is the first time he filmed a sex tape. That's cool. That's like, none of those cameras don't even exist except for sex tapes. The Nicky Moon has one. <laughs> Pointed right at us. It's gonna be a fun night, guys. What's going on, Back Alley? What's going on? How, how are we doing tonight, Back Alley? Can we make some noise up in Back Alley, please? Yeah. Nights in the week. I know it's a Monday. Garfield doesn't like Mondays, but you know what we do? Yeah. We do. Yeah. So, um, table over there, how you guys doing? Woo! They're not comedians, so you know, we're gonna focus on you. So just scenario on this shit. Like, let me just tell you something. I'm in Atlanta, I'm broke as fuck, so I'm staying with my parents, you know, I mean 32 years old, that's I don't even want to get into that. But um but yeah, he wanted to be a fair fight, and I'm like, everybody's mad at him, like he's a terrible parent and all this shit, and I'm just like, at least his dad is there, motherfucker, I don't know where my dad was, I'll get my ass kicked all the fucking time, I don't know what I'm saying, you know what I mean? I had more to that joke, but I ain't got enough time. It's been real, y'all, Smitty, I'll holler, shit. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Joke of the night. <laughs> Until the next comedian. These comedians are doing great. Thanks for showing love. Please keep it going for Nicky Moon. How many of you guys are just uh, tired with corporate America? Am I right? Yeah. Yeah. Fuck those guys. They think they can do whatever they like. I'll give you an example. I work at I work out at Planet Fitness. I really don't work out in the end. I'm, I'm just there for the free haircuts at this point. This is like, I'm, not, I'm not working out at Planet Fitness. It's the free haircuts and that's it. That's what I do that for. I was working out at Planet Fitness and there's a sign. There's a sign right before you get the, inside the door. And it, it was a new sign. It was said. It said, uh, "We are no longer using your number to check you in anymore. We are handing out barcodes. So please bear with us." I just thought, "Fuck those guys. I'm taking my business elsewhere. There's a bear in there. Ah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Some ferocious monster of a bear. Yeah, you know, I feel like corporate America is really." It's out of touch with, you know, us common man. Bear's with us. Bear with us. It sounds like he, the bear's the president of Planet Fitness. Or it's just working out in there and it's just like a warning. Hey, we got a bear on a treadmill. Uh, it's on all fours. Bears. That's why I don't like corporate America, because all the bears. <laughs> You guys like uh, political humor? I'm kind of a political satirist. Uh, people know me for my intellectual stuff. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna go into it a little bit. Uh, so, uh, so who here would uh, would bang Hillary Clinton? Yeah. Who here would bang Sarah Palin? Woo! Yeah. That's my political humor. I just want to know who's. <laughs> So wait, so there was more woos for Sarah Palin. Who here would vote for Sarah Palin? Woo! <laughs> Andrew Harms. <laughs> Conservative monster out there. <laughs> Look at that guy, Sarah Palin. <laughs> I don't know where Alaska is either. <laughs> oh, that's weird. I actually did do some political humor on that. I I really just wanted you to think about having sex with Hillary Clinton and Sarah Palin. That's all I wanted you to do. Can you imagine if they fucked each other? I would really watch that sex tape. I would just want to see who's the more dominant one so I know who to vote for. Because <laughs> if you can't be dominant in the bedroom, what makes you think I'm going to vote for you when you run in the country? That's why I voted for Obama. <laughs> <laughs> what? What does that mean? What does that mean? I, I'm just suggesting as a dominant lover if he was in a gay relationship. <laughs> what else have I got? But <laughs> uh, I was I was uh, I was um, watching the news the other day, and there was this uh, crippled guy who used to be a cop, 
But now they fixed his legs. We're using robotics. He still moves, you know, kind of slow, but they fixed his legs. They're calling him uh, Robocop because they put him back on the force. I think it's kind of messed up that they put him back on the force, you know? But like they couldn't really, like, uh... Let's just stop right now. Let's <laughs> just stop right now. All I'm saying is cripples can't, you know, stop crimes from happening. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. I don't have anything wrong with cripples. I think they're, I think they're perfect, they're perfect gentlemen. And yes, I'm saying all cripples are, are men. I'm a feminist. <laughs> There's no way a cripple could stop a burglar. Even with robot legs, he moves too slowly. <laughs> giving him, like, giving, putting him back on the force is really irresponsible if you think about it. <laughs> you want? All right, let's move on to some funny stuff. I'm gonna start my jokes now. Uh, <laughs> I bought weed for the who here buys weed? Yep. Uh, one person. That means all you guys are just squares. You guys are like me. I never bought weed before, so I, uh, so like, it was a weird experience. You know, because I didn't know how to, you know, like, uh, greet the guy after he left. You know, I didn't know where to get him, like, a handshake, or like a fist bump, or like, a hug. I didn't know the guy, you know? So out of the mad panic, I just sucked his dick. Oh, what? I just sucked my weed till his dick. <laughs> hey, you guys don't buy weed! You guys don't know how they do it on the streets, you know? You guys aren't street smart. I'm street smart, you suck dick for weed. That's how they do it, that's how they've always done it. I'm not gay. I'm not gay. But I would, I would suck a dick just to prove a lot of stuff, you know? I would suck a dick just, just but out of no sexual reasons at all, you know? Like, I'd suck a black guy's dick to prove I'm not racist. I'd do that. I would suck a dick to prove I'm not gay. That's how committed I am to making sure people don't think I'm gay. You know, for the longest time, I thought gay people literally ate cock. Like, literally. Like, that's what the gay people did. Like, they sauteed cock and ate it, and they invited a bunch of their gay friends over, and they talked about, like, the ballet and wallpaper and potpourri. That was your dick. Yeah, that's a little overcooked. <laughs> Alright, thanks, guys. I'm Nicky Moon, and thank you. Fine, it's cool. It's cool. I have a